Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we will be seeing the very important CAP theorem. Now this CAP theorem plays a very important role when it comes to distributed systems. So let's have an overview of it. So it stands for consistency, availability and partitioning. We will have a detailed tour on all these three concepts after this overview. So, the CAP theorem explains the different competing requirements that may arise in the distributed systems. Now, these competing requirements can be the failure that may occur while achieving all these three properties. Now, this CAP theorem also gives a clear idea about the trade-off when it comes to designing the network shared system, which means the distributed systems. It clearly states that the network shared systems which means the distributed systems can strongly support any one of these properties it may be either consistency or it may be availability i hope you have got an idea of this particular cap theorem now we will be looking into detailed explanation of each and every properties inside this cap theorem so let's start with partitioning so it states that even if there is a breakdown of communication between any number of nodes the show must go on that means in a distributed system if a particular node or a communication medium that is associated with it breaks down then in that case the other nodes must not be affected because of it the other nodes or communication between them must function correctly in short this partitioning ensures that the distributed system must be partition tolerant always i hope you have got an idea of it now let's see an example in this particular example, we have taken four nodes. Now, these four nodes are connected with communication channel between them. Now, since this is a distributed system, each node will be concerned with different data in it. For example, node 1 has this particular data AB with the value 1000 and 2000. Similarly, other nodes will have some other data inside it. Let's consider a case where this particular node, which is having the data G and H, due to some network issue or maybe because of some of the delays that may occur or let's say the communication that is associated with this particular node has got broken down what partitioning states that in this particular situation also the other nodes that are containing the data a b c d and e f must work totally fine without having any disturbance a distributed system must be partition tolerant always there should be no option for eliminating this particular property from the CAP theorem because the definition of distributed system itself says that the data will be stored and processed at different nodes and it will be processed parallelly. So in that case, if a particular node fails, then the entire system should not go down and it should tolerate this particular failure by creating a partition and working independently. I hope you have got this partitioning. Now let's move on to another property from CAP theorem which is availability. It states that all the nodes inside the distributed system must be operational. The data must be available everywhere. That means whenever a client is requesting for some data or the client has to modify some data, it should be available always. The system should not deny the request. Now, availability states that the data may or may not be updated always, but it will always be available all the time that means the data may not be the one which contains the most recent write operation inside it which is nothing but the most updated data but it will always be available so let's have a look at this in detail by the same example which we have taken earlier for demonstrating partitioning so we have four nodes with communication between them and let's say a client comes and the client is asking for the data that is stored in D which is 4000 but there is a twist let's say this particular node fails in some case now the property availability says that the data must be available all the time and the client should be able to make different operations on the data that they are concerned with so in this particular condition this problem can be solved by creating replicas of the data that is concerned in every other node that means each node replica will be stored in every other node 
Just in case if a particular node fails, then the replicas can be used to access the data or to manipulate the data. Make a note that even if the data is available all the time, it doesn't mean that the data will always be of the recent right operation. Because for updating the data in all nodes, it takes some time. So I hope availability is clear. Now let's move on to consistency. And consistency says that all the nodes must have the same data at any given time in a distributed system, which means that all the nodes must contain the updated data always. Now this doesn't assure that the data will always be available. So let's have a look at this in detail by the same example. For now, the node which contains the data C and D is concerned. We will have the replicas of it in all the other nodes. So now again, let's say this particular client wants the data which is stored in C. Now. Let's say in this particular time span, some other client has changed the data in C from 3000 to 3500. So what consistent property says that whichever data has got manipulated, the replicas should also be updated with the same data. So you can see the node AB has now got updated to 3500. Similarly, inside node GH, the replica containing the C data has got updated and similarly for the node EF. So now if the client asks for the data which is stored inside the C, the client will get the data that is containing the most recent write operation. But always remember that to make the data consistent in all the nodes, it takes some time. So there might be a case that the most consistent data may not be available in all the nodes. Hence if the data is consistent, it may or may not be available always. So I hope you have understood all these three properties. Now just concentrate on this particular triangle. So this particular triangle contains three nodes, C, A and P. C stands for consistency, A stands for availability and P stands for partitioning. So let's focus on this particular edge, which contains the nodes C and A, which means consistency and availability. So the data models that supports these two properties from the cap theorem at a single time are MariaDB, SQL Server and there are many other data models which supports the consistency and availability. But make a note that these are not network shared systems. These are only a relational database system which won't support partitioning at all. Now let's focus on, the, on this edge which contains the nodes availability and partitioning which means that these particular data models will contain both the properties availability and partitioning but will not contain the property of consistency and the data models are CoachDB and Cassandra. There are many other data models which doesn't support consistency but supports availability and partitioning. These are network shared distributed systems. Now let's come to this particular edge which contains the nodes consistency and partitioning. These are the data models which contains consistency and partitioning but does not contain availability. And they are MongoDB, Redis, and there are many other data models which doesn't support availability but supports consistency and partitioning at the same time. And again, these are network shared systems. So I hope you have got an idea that what CAP theorem actually conveys. It states that partitioning will always be there inside the network shared system, but there will always be a trade-off between consistency and availability. The data models will have to compromise on any one of them. And also make sure that no data model will have all these three properties at the same time. I hope you have got a clear picture of the CAP theorem. So if you have any doubts, put it in the comment section. And for more such videos, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching.